Look, this is why so many people think Christianity is a joke, because as Christians, we can sit here and we can say, yo, I'm a Christian. And we can say that we love Jesus and we can say that we believe in the Bible and we can say all these things that sound great. Right. But then at the same time, we can have absolutely no fruit in our lives. We can have no fruit, but say, I love Jesus. And we can say that our first words were hallelujah. And we can say that I'm a Christian, but have no fruit. And this is why people who aren't Christians look at us and they're so confused. They're like, yo, that person says they're a Christian. They say they're a Christian, right? They say I love Jesus in the bio, like Christian Rock. They say, fun fact, my first word was hallelujah, And I'm making a gospel song called Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, this year, 2023, will be nothing but abundance and more love, more life. Amen. They say all of that. But then just in the previous post, they in the club with a bottle of Henny. But this is the same Christian who said they love Jesus, but now they in the club with a bottle of Henny. With the things out. This is why... This is why people think Christianity is a joke. Now, I saw this story a few days ago. I ain't really paying no mind. But I guess now I'm paying it some mind. Christian Rock, for those of you who do not know, Christian Rock, she started out as like a reality TV person. Uh, Then she became like a rapper. Now she's known as being the girlfriend of another famous rapper. But throughout this whole process, two things have been consistent for Christian Rock. The first thing that's been consistent for Christian Rock is the drama. She's always involved in some type of drama. Whether it's getting her front tooth knocked out, whether it's giving her boyfriend two black eyes, whether it's fighting her boyfriend's mom, Like, this is all stuff you cannot make up. Y'all can do the Google search. Y'all, you can see what I'm talking about. So there's always been drama with Krishan Rock. But you know what the super interesting thing about about Krishan Rock? (laughs) Krishan. About Krishan Rock. The second interesting thing is that, yo, she always talks about Jesus. She always talks about Jesus. She always says how much she loves Jesus. She always says how much she loves God and that she's always been a Christian. She always says that she's been influenced and, 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 and praise and that, you know, God is the most important thing in her life. She consistently says this while wiling out. And it's getting to a point where I believe some people just use the tag of being a Christian because there's certain business opportunities that you can walk into if you're a Christian, especially on the music side. Because Krishan Rock, she's never really been like a, a successful rapper, but now that she's making gospel music, now maybe she'll find some success because it's not as competitive. When you're competing with secular rappers, especially female hip-hop artists, it's become so oversaturated. There's so many female hip-hop artists now. It's, It's oversaturated. It's hard to compete. But if you pivot... And now you become a, a female gospel gospel rapper. That's a lot. It's, 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 it's a smaller circle. It's not really as saturated. It's easier to have success. You don't necessarily have to be as good if you're glorifying God. If people believe that you truly have a heart for Jesus, they'll kind of let things slide. 
if they believe that you have an anointing, a, a calling, then they'll kind of let things slide and you can have more success on the gospel, on the Christian side of things. Now, I say all that just for some context because this is really what I want to show y'all. So this is an interview that Krishan Rock just did just recently, a couple weeks ago. Um, I'm going to give you some quick context because this is the, the start of the interview. Now, she walked into the interview. She was like, yo, I've been kind of sick. I'm, I, I've been feeling kind of nauseous. Like, I don't know. Like, I, I feel like I'm about to throw up. And she was like, yo, maybe I might be pregnant. I don't know. Like, I, I think I might be pregnant. But just keep listening because the conversation gets super, super interesting. As a Christian, now this is a Christian woman. I just want y'all to remember that this is a Christian woman. All right? Take a listen. Krishan. Well, I'm being dead ass. Don't play like that. I'm not playing. I, I really, it took me forever to do my face in the car. Do you normally get nauseous? No, unless car sick, but I'm not in no car. I still, I still, oh my God. So are you pregnant? <laughs> Girl, I don't know. <laughs> give me a minute to figure it out. Yeah, give me a minute to figure it all out. All right, all right. We ain't gonna talk about that. All right, all right. Let's do an icebreaker. I, mean, I can't okay. wait though. Icebreaker. If I have a baby, I'm keeping it this time. Jesus. What? I well, killed like three of them. If I have a baby, I'm keeping it this time. I've killed like three of them. This is a Christian woman. This is a Christ, bruh. This is a Christian woman. Now, listen, I'm not in the business of saying, of judging somebody's salvation. I'm not in the business of judging somebody's salvation. But I am in the business of looking at the fruit because the Bible says we can look at the fruit. Matthew 7, a good tree produces good fruit. A bad tree produces bad fruit. A good tree cannot produce bad fruit. A good tree cannot produce bad fruit. A bad tree cannot produce good fruit. So every tree that does not produce good fruit is chopped down and thrown into the fire. Yes, just as you can identify a tree by its fruit, so you can identify people by their actions. I'm not in the business of judging somebody's salvation if they're a Christian or not, but I mean, the Bible says I can, I, I can identify somebody by their actions. I can identify it. Because you know what? Matthew 7, 21, not everyone who calls out to me, Lord, Lord, will enter into the kingdom of heaven. Not everyone who says I love Jesus in the bio is going to enter into the kingdom of heaven. Not everyone who says, didn't we prophesy in your name? Didn't we cast out demons? Is going to enter into, into the kingdom of heaven. I'm just reading the Bible. That's what it says. So when I see stuff like this, she's sitting here joking about, yo, if I am pregnant, well, then, you know, I'm going to keep it this time because I've already, you know, got rid of, th of, of three of them things. <laughs> three of them things I already deleted. Now, if I get another one, I'm going to keep it this time. As somebody who calls themselves a Christian, as somebody who says they have a relationship with God, this is not how we should be moving. It's not how we should be moving. And people think it's cool. And this is the the this is the 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 cool part. I don't know if that's the right word, but this is the 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 good and the bad about Christianity. The good is that we're all sinners. Now you might be asking, Nick, why is that good? Well, that's good because God gives us grace. There's nothing that we can do to earn our salvation. We have to put our faith in the finished work of Jesus Christ. Jesus was on the cross. He said, it is finished. We have to put our faith in that. And that will cover our sins. That will make us righteous. That's the good news. But the bad part is a lot of these Christians out here are abusing the grace. A lot of these Christians out here, they're abusing the grace. And they're acting like no matter what they do, God is okay with it. Yes, God loves you. 
but that doesn't mean he's okay with everything that you're doing or saying or thinking. Anyway, anyway, I want to show you something else too. Real quick. Like me, when I cry with stuff, you feel I it. cry with movies. I, yeah. I, I just let yeah. it out. Yeah. I don't, Good. I don't like to be that person like, I know that hurt when you watched it. Why mm -hmm. didn't you cry? Oh, right. I'm one of them people that. like, I'm going to cry. Yeah. So when I saw her shit, I'm like, I'm going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> so then I DM'd her like, I want to come on your podcast. Oh my like, gosh. Wow. I can see God moving through you. Wow. Through my phone. It was cool. Wow. You're, you're anointed. I love you. Wait, that you made me cry. That made me cry. After our I conversation, y'all, yeah. we FaceTime. And before I, I had it, like, you know, uh, missing too, I had a baby gap like you were. No. <laughs> <laughs> we talked. We talked for an hour, uh, almost an hour on FaceTime. Yeah. We were just talking, and I'm like, this girl is like, Like, yeah. I knew her for years. So. Yeah. yeah. You're anointed too, though. God got his hand B, on you. He was texting me like, I wish you could hear I her. Wish you she's could hear so how she's talking. Amazing. She's so yeah. amazing. She's so sweet. She's so smart. She's so anointed. She Everything that the media portrays you not to be. You get what, what I'm saying? What you going to see in this docuseries? Like? This is the standard that we've been allowing. You're so smart. You're so anointed. Everything that the media portrays you to be is essentially false. That's 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 the 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 level of... <laughs> That's the level of Christianity that we're allowing to exist right now. All you have to do is say that you love God. Let me tell you how to be a Christian for, uh, today, right? For, for, from from an a American uh, standard of, of Christianity, this, this pop culture standard of Christianity. All you got to do is say that you love Jesus. All you got to say is that you're a Christian and that you love God and you're a Christian. You're in. You're good. You're in. It don't matter what you do. It don't matter what you do. It don't matter what you wear. It don't matter what you drink. It don't matter who you hang out with. It don't matter who you get in, into a relationship with. It doesn't matter what you believe in. It doesn't matter your doctrine. It doesn't matter how much you read the Bible. It doesn't matter any of that. All you got to do is just say that you're a Christian, that you love Jesus, and you win. According to the world, but the world is going to lead a lot of y'all to hell. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. But y'all want to listen to her new, uh, her new song? Hold on. If I get copyright, then I might have to pull this part out. But hold on. Let's listen to it. So there, there it is, man. There it is. Krishan Rock. She she done beating up her boyfriend. She done twerking in the club. She 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 done. Now she a whole now she a whole gospel rapper now. Now she in the scene now. Like, bro, I can't, I need to get off this page. It's like, I can't even, I can't even show, I can't even show nothing. But this is fruit nowadays. This is what fruit looks like. This is what fruit looks like. But y'all just remember, I'm just reading the Bible. Not everyone who calls out to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. Only those who actually do the will of my father in heaven will, will enter on judgment day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, we prophesied in your name. We casted out demons and performed uh, many miracles in your name. Not one, but many in your name. But I will reply, I never knew you. Get away from me, you who break God's laws. Just because you are successful, just because you have things, just because... You have a platform and you have money, you have fame, you have clout. That doesn't mean you're anointed. That doesn't mean that you're bringing glory to God. That doesn't mean that God is satisfied with what you're doing. 
And I say that for myself too. I was having a conversation with my friend the other day and I was like, yo, you know, every time in church, like when they do like a, like the, the salvation moment at church where they're like, yo, all right, if you want to get saved, like say, say this prayer in your heart, like come up to the altar, stuff like that. Every time they say, say this prayer in your heart, I always say the prayer because I'm just like, God, I just, I just want to make sure, like, I just want to like, and I don't know, and I was, this is what I was telling my friend, like, I don't know if that's me just having a lack of faith and not truly believing that I am good, or if that's just me just coming from a place of like repentance and just, and just understanding how the, the sinful nature that, that is within me. I, and I just want to make sure like, God, I just want to make sure we're good. I just want to make sure we're good. I just want to make sure we're good. Because the scriptures say, many will come to me and say, Lord, Lord, and I'll say, get away from, get away from me for I never knew you. I just want to make sure God knows me. I just want to make sure that we're good. I just want to make sure that I'm doing everything in my power. I, I don't want to make this like a, a works-based thing because it's not about my works. There's nothing that I can do to earn rightness with God or, or, or righteousness. But sometimes I'll be feeling like, yo, are we good? Like, I just want to make sure we're good, God. So when I see things like this and then when I see the standard that's being allowed, it breaks my heart because look, I wish everyone knew knew God. I wish everyone was going to heaven, but the path is narrow. It, it, it's not just, it, it's not going to be, you know, everyone is just, everyone's good. Some people are going to get deceived. Matthew 7, 13, you, you can enter God's kingdom only through the narrow gate. The highway to hell is broad and the gate is wide for many who choose that way. But the gateway to life is very narrow and the road is difficult and only a few ever find it. I don't know, man. Pray for Kashan Rock. Um, and here's the reason why you should be praying for Kashan Rock. Number one, that's that's what the Bible tells us to do. The Bible tells us to love our enemies. So pray for Kashan for Kershawn Rock. And number two, um, she has a platform. She has people who follow her. She has people who actually think that this is a representation of God. Obviously, I don't think that. Obviously, if you're watching this video, I'm assuming that you don't think that. But there are some people, some baby Christians who probably think that this is a representation of God and that this is what we can do as Christians. And this is the, the, the lifestyle that we are allowed to have as Christians. But it's a narrow path and very few will make it. So what do you think about this video? Get in my comments, like this video if you want to support the ministry, if you want to support the channel, subscribe, I'm out.